Hello, everyone. Chief Meteorologist Matt Hollander. Well, after a cold Tuesday, it's going to be an even colder Wednesday across the region. So cold that we do have a wind chill advisory until 10 a.m. Wednesday morning, not just for northwest Indiana, but all of the Chicagoland area. And of course, when we have one of these wind chill advisories, this means it's the coldest of the cold. So how cold are we talking about? Well, let's take a look at just our temperatures, 6 a.m. Wednesday morning. And notice how for the vast majority, they are below zero. Maybe the northern part of LaPorte County is staying just above zero due to some extra clouds that will be around, but just barely above zero. Unfortunately, this doesn't tell the whole story. we got to talk about the wind. Now, it's not going to be a ton of wind. Sustained winds, yes, are only going to be in the neighborhood of 5 to 10 miles per hour. But when temperatures are this cold, it doesn't take much wind for there to be a wind chill factor. So take a look at what it's going to feel like 6 a.m. Wednesday morning. Maybe as cold as minus 20 in spots. Minus 15 is going to be common and probably no warmer in northwest Indiana than about minus 10 or so. And though the wind chill advisory ends at 10 a.m. and the coldest weather will be behind us, don't expect warm conditions Wednesday afternoon. I mean, look at our temperatures at 3 p.m. Wednesday. Single digits to maybe as warm as 12 degrees. Again, not much wind, but it's still there. 5 to 10 miles per hour. So what is it going to feel like? 3 o'clock Wednesday afternoon? Probably still below zero across the northern part of the region. Maybe Newton, Jasper County, just above zero. So really, I got to say, even though the wind chill advisory ends at 10 a.m. throughout the day Wednesday, this is going to be a day where you're going to want to wear the hats and gloves if you go outside. Put on the extra layers if you go outside. And if you can, just don't go outside. Stay inside. Enjoy the warmer conditions. Also, your outdoor pets, if you can keep them inside during the day on Wednesday, that's going to be ideal. If they do have to stay outside Make sure they have adequate shelter and maybe throw some extra blankets into their shelter for them just to help keep them warm. So now let's talk about Thursday. Could it get worse? Fortunately, no. In fact, check out our temperature 6 a.m. Thursday morning. They're actually going to be warmer than Wednesday afternoon. Why? Because a warm front, fortunately, arrives Wednesday night. And so that's going to cause our temperatures to actually rise during the overnight hours Wednesday night. So 6 a.m. Thursday morning is going to be warmer than Wednesday afternoon. That said, we're not talking about warm temperatures. I mean, this is still below normal for this time of year. Temperatures in the low to mid-teens across northwest Indiana. And the problem is the winds are going to be stronger on Thursday. So look at the sustained winds 6 a.m. Thursday morning in the neighborhood of 10 to 15 miles per hour. So yes, wind chill factor definitely. And in some spots, it's still going to feel like it's below zero 6 a.m. Thursday morning, especially in Porter County and LaPorte County, it looks like. And uh, if you are above zero, just barely, maybe around two degrees. So what about for the afternoon on Thursday? Well, this is better. This is more reasonable for this time of year. Upper 20s to around 30 degrees at three o'clock Thursday afternoon. This is probably when we're going to see our strongest winds, though. Yeah, sustained winds will probably be 10, 15 miles per hour, but I bet we could see some gusts around 25 miles per hour. So, yes, the wind chill factor is still going to be there. It's probably not going to feel any warmer Thursday than the upper teens to low 20s. So can we keep the warming trend going? Possibly, please. Unfortunately, no. <laughs> Actually, are going to see a cold front arrive Thursday night. And with it is going to come another round of snow and then some lake effect snow behind that that will be on Friday. Of course, I'll keep you posted on that right here on NWI.com.